Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at the object and face tracking on the C200. This is probably the most common question I get emailed or um, direct messaged or generally asked when I meet people who own a C200. They don't know how to enable the object tracking because it's not that obvious. There isn't a button for it. Face tracking is pretty self-explanatory. You just set the focus um, in the menu to face only or face priority. And the camera does a pretty good job of picking up the person's face or multiple faces in the scene and letting you select between them. But object tracking is a little trickier. You actually need to assign one of the buttons on the camera to object tracking. It doesn't come as default. I use the peaking button because I don't use that that often. I use the peaking on the monitor itself. And you go into the menu, go into the customization menu, find the button that you wanna change. In this case, it's number two, then go up and select tracking. Now, when you go out of the menu and hit your button number two, it'll turn on this little guy and you'll be able to um, select an object either with the touch screen or with the joystick, click the middle joystick down to select it and it should track that object through the scene, either as you move the camera around or the object itself moves. Um, this works just as well with people's faces if you have an object priority. And you can do some really cool things of um, person walking fast or moving fast towards a person where the camera will pull focus much faster and much more accurately than any focus puller could. Sorry for all the focus pullers out there. Because the camera is working in hundredths or thousandth of a second and a focus puller has to react to what's happening. In this way, the camera operator has a lot more freedom to react to what the actors are doing and not worry about um, a focus puller missing their mark. Now, uh, the set, it's not 100% perfect and it doesn't do well with faces when people turn away. Um, sometimes the camera hunts around, tries to find the face. Um, it actually doesn't work that well in profile either. It needs two eyes, a nose and a mouth to sort of lock onto the face. But um, with objects, it works pretty well as long as the object looks the same to camera. If the object turns or the object goes behind something, um, it'll do its best, but it's not guaranteed. Still, a really cool way to use the functionality and the dual pixel autofocus of this camera and get some cool shots you would otherwise wouldn't and in a way that's not that self-explanatory. Hope you guys enjoy using your tracking on your C200. Um, I got a lot of use out of it. Uh, let me know your questions in the comments. I will see you next time.